testing. Are we rolling? No? Okay. You know, I haven't got all day. I've got slams to win. Hey, everyone. It's my day off today, so I'm heading up to the Touch Tennis headquarters to see Rashid Ahmed, the founder of the sport and self-proclaimed greatest of all time. Now, last time I went up to Touch Tennis HQ, I actually lost to him. So um, today I'm going to head up there to teach him a lesson and to take you guys along with me. So let's go. It's always tough going to touch tennis HQ. Uh, I turn up, Rashi's normally on court hitting a few balls with one of his practice partners. The trouble I have is it's probably an hour and a half journey. By the time I get there, I'm tight and you know, dreading playing oh, no games is the greatest of all time. So yeah, it's it's not a great experience the first few minutes, but when I get into it, you know, I start hitting the ball well. Yeah, Neves has been here many times. He's been to the barn. We've played loads, all sorts of games. We've played uh, touch tennis. We've played touch touch tennis. Uh, we've played badminton, we've played uh, touch darts, which is an incredible game. We've played touch connect four, which is where you've got to just do three. He always pulls out some dirty tactics. Well, it's connect four, but you just put three across instead of four. Yeah, yeah, he knew the rules before we played, for sure. The rules of touch tennis are savage. No lets. Sudden death deuce, first to four games. When you play in a tie break, it's first to five. Winner takes all at four all. It must be set up in his favour. He's only five foot five, so I guess the let court rule is for that reason. And I've heard plenty of rumours about him playing against his kids, and they were so good when it got to deuce and advantage, he just didn't have the endurance, so he changed the rule completely to, to no ad scoring. Matches can run away from you in a matter of minutes. It's brutal. Yeah, of course he thinks sets can get away from you in seconds or minutes. Didn't he get golden bageled by Alex Ball? Ashley Neves, good player. He can mix it with the best, but he's also been on the wrong end of a golden set, which is uh, well something that not many people will let him forget, I'm sure. No, that's where you don't win a point in the yeah. entire set. So That's a bit of a kick in the teeth, isn't it? A little bit. A little soul destroying. Yeah, sure, it was at three o'clock in the morning, but... You've got to play who's in front of you, whatever time. It was 3 a.m. for Alex Bull as well, remember? One other thing that always happens is I try to bring my camera with me. You know, I bring my tripod, my camera, so that I can get some highlight reels of me playing some really good touch tennis. But he always refuses to let any cameras into the building. It has to be on his terms. Um, and yeah, it, everything that he wins makes it online somewhere. And everything he loses somehow you know, gets discarded. Remember to edit that later to look like a winner. No, it's nothing to do with other people's cameras. The point is we've got so many here already. The last thing I want to do is someone turns up with a camera and leaves it here by mistake and then I've got to send it back to them. We've got plenty of cameras here. And yeah, you know, the content is, is kept safe. Actually, I better get rid of this one. I think this match is against him last time. Am I nervous about playing him? Why would I be nervous? He's got no backhand, no serve. He's got nothing against me. I get these comments all the time from these kids that really need to be taken to school. I mean, the tennis mentor? I'm the touch tennis inventor. Good luck. Just what a loser would say, good luck. I don't need luck, I've got talent. Okay. Oh. I never play mind games against an unarmed man.
Okay, no way. Three, two, forty, thirty. Willie Gag. Willie Gag. No matter how many sets I win, there's always a way that he'll win that last point, and it's normally from a net call. So Anthony Joshua steps in the ring and he loses the match. No one cares how long he was champion for. All that matters is, at that moment, he no longer is. The last point is all that matters. Anyone who's played football in the park with their mates knows that last goal counts. Why would it be any different at touch tennis? Great warm ups, mate. Huh? Great warm ups. Warm ups? Yeah, warm up sets. No. no you, the match is now. Mate, you played five sets. One point. Huh? One point. Last point wins. Well, this one? Yeah, yeah. Dead or alive. This, this, is see. this is what you did last time. Well, you should be ready then, shouldn't okay. you? Anyone coming to the Touch Tennis headquarters, anyone coming here, knows what's in store for them. It's brutal, you know. It's not set up to favour me, but let's just say I've never lost here. Let's see how you are under pressure. Let's see how you are under pressure. Under one. Two camera angles, ah, 4K, 50 frames per second. Yeah, of course I was going to lose. Nobody beats him here. <laughs> if he dreamed he beat me, he would have woken up apologising. I'm the GOAT. If you've made it this far through the video, you'll have seen that we had a lot of fun making it. And hopefully you've realised that it was very tongue-in-cheek. But that's what touch tennis is all about. Nobody takes themselves too seriously, even Rashid, though he claims that he's the greatest of all time. I'll let you decide that in the comments. In fact, if you're still watching, we'd love to hear from you. So let us know if you've played touch tennis before and if you enjoyed this style of format, as I'd love to go back to the barn to give him a rematch, although I'm not sure how happy he'll be. Anyway, thanks as always for watching. I can't wait to see you in next week's video. Take care.